Welcome back everyone. Another episode of surviving the Mars over here. And um, we've uh, had uh, quite a quite an episode in the, in, the, in the last one. The very super duper long cold wave uh, finally ended. And we also, um, I think uh, the, what it meant was that the, we got a bit of a moral uh, boost from the from the colonists as as uh, for the colonists as well, and also our subsurface heaters consume less power now, which is nice. Um, we also finished the uh, research uh, for for our colonists so that all the uh, babies that are born on on Mars they don't take any well not just the babies well anyone that's that was born on Mars uh, they don't take any sanity damage from uh, from the disasters anymore. So that's that is amazing. Our next research is already up and running. That is the deep water extraction, and um, which means we really want to want to tap into that water water pool that we have right next to our domes. It's looking very juicy, and I cannot wait to start uh, exploiting that one. Now, what else do we have in queue? Yes, factory ampli amplification. That's mostly for the um, for our. What is it? The electronics factory that's running right now. I want to increase the production on that one. Then got a few more lined up over here, but I think I think the next ones. Uh, let's see. Do we go for the bigger dome? Meaning we'll we'll get some. Uh, what are they called? The mission profile thingy. Construct the mega dome, so then we get ten thousand research. Wrong shortcut. H for research. So that could be an option. What else do we have? Rare metals extract. Rare metals extractor production increased by fifty percent. Is nice, obviously as well. Uh, wow. Hmm. <laughs> So many things to choose from. Oh, wow, we have uncovered the Mohol mine. It's only 16,000, thanks. Oh, man, so happy for the 20% reduction over here. And we also have the excavator. Um, produces concrete and I think extracts metals and rare metals. Okay, so what are your thoughts on the, on the Mohol and the large... Uh, what is it? The excavator. Should we should we go for them? I mean, I kind of. If I had to choose one, I mean, obviously it would be the molehole over here. At least for the time being, since concrete is fine, we we haven't expanded this much that we were, you know, low on concrete or anything. Molehole would be nice for the fact that um, we don't have a lot of like rare metals around us. There's three over here. But we can't really tap into them unless we um, slap a dome right next to it. I mean, there are a few nicer ones around here as well. And it's not like there's a lot of rare metals on this on this map here. Let's see. Uh, 1,500 here. And this one. I mean, that one here isn't going to last us for very long. So we've got to make a, make a decision at some point. And... Although it's a high one, there's only 339 medals in that one. And this one's better, but... Yeah, let me know what are your thoughts. Should we, should we go and... Oh, again, I always press the tab. Um, should we go for... For the mole hole, perhaps. That's going to require a lot of power as well. And then, well, maybe even the artificial sun. I don't know. Let's see. Let's see what are your thoughts as well. Um, anyways, home collective over here. Residential building upgrades. Uh, I think that was that would take electronics as well. Oh, wait. This would be cool, actually. It's going to uncover, well, most likely another, another two deposits. But if one of those is, like, ridiculous, then I think... I think we're sorted. Um, anyways, for the time being, I don't think it's that necessary to have it right now. Food is fine, so we might do this at a later stage. I think what is more important right now is to get them specialized. And we can do this by building the Martian University. Let's see. What else do we have here? Farm increase to convert. 
uh, well, the farms are going to go out of our domes anyway, so um, although it would be useful in the farm dome, because I don't think there was any vistas in that area where we wanted to build it, we also have, let's see, no... Yeah, sorry it's taking so long, but I just need to... I need to pick the right one, you know? Mm, I don't need the shuttle hub just yet. Don't need any of those. Factory upgrades. Factory AI. Uh, increases the performance. Wasn't there an upgrade where it reduces the workers? Where is that one? It's not this one. No. I hope it's not a breakthrough that we don't have access to. I thought there was an upgrade that reduces the amount of workers needed in the in the factories. Hmm. Well, maybe it is a breakthrough then. Yeah, I don't see it anywhere. But anyways, let's go for the Martian education then. Uh, so we can start getting them specialized. Let's speed up the time as well. And now let's check on the progress over here. So, okay, so it's going slowly but surely. Uh, they might even... I'm not sure if they're going to need like a storage over here, but... Uh, let's just give them like a small one right there. In case they get overloaded with all that rubble. Uh, all right, let's go three times speed and um, let's check how things are going here. We have, okay, one unemployed. You would be nice if you could go and work in the factory over there. Few homeless people. Hmm. What are we going to do about that? Since we don't have, well, there is one space here, but I... Um, <laughs> 10 polymers. You know what? I think it's time to start building this dome over here. Wait, we slapped the school in here. So how are we going to pull the... I uh, mean, we could maybe pull... Yeah, we could pull the, uh, the tunnel or the, the passage from here. So that is okay. And from here, I think think we should have space to go through this way. Um, I think. I hope. Um, let's see. Our O2 and H2O seems to be okay as well. So that is that is good. Power, of course, thanks to that one fusion plant over here. Is looking nice too. Now, since we have some more drones now, Speed up the water production. Let's see. Yeah, let's send let's send them on some missions here. How many drones do you have? You have six. Well, how many do we have over here? Seven. Um. <laughs> thinking of sending some drones on a mission but uh, yeah maybe we can shuffle them around a little bit um, maybe we'll do it after the dome is built so that we will free up some some drones in this area here as well okay let's check on the progress again not the fastest at the same time, there's only four drones working on this, so... And it is quite a quite a huge project that they're doing over there. So, all is well. Almost done. Let's see on the food. So, trees are now bringing in... Oh, nice. Okay, so it's going to go over 100 over there. The soil is 90% here as well, so we can do the same. Once this patch is done, let's... Uh, uh, remove the soybeans. 
and we'll keep it just on fruit trees. Oh yeah, let's do the same over here. It's 100% now, so that is looking good. Our reserves are looking nice as well. How are our domes doing? Sanity, comfort, relaxation. Uh, I think we can do a tiny one in here. Let's see, a garden. Oh, that's the big one. Small garden. Let's put one in, in the middle there. How is this dome doing? Gambling and relaxation. So if you want to relax, I think... We do have space for another garden over here. This one's full. Yeah, the this dome is already stacked out, it seems. Uh, gaming relaxation too, okay. Right. There's space in here. Well, I think that that's fine. It's not like we have any s extra space here anyways. Oh, we got more workers. Uh, 13 homeless people. Ooh, we really need this up and running. Let's see. Some more kids coming up, hopefully. Yes. We want to have a nice and steady supply of uh, new colonists. Uh, yeah, don't want to go overboard with this. Let's see. Just the concrete left and do have some in here. Let's see. Desired amount should always have like 60, 17 here. Oh, another thing we wanted to do, I remember talking in the in the previous episode, was the rover printing over here. Yeah, so then we could print maybe another one or two transport ones and get them all on fully, uh, fully automated, essentially. There is a lot of stuff on the, on the map over here. And let's see, we'll do... No, I don't think we're going to do any more of those, but we'll do some more meteors. Because our research is looking quite okay already. And we don't have a, a huge stock of electronics, so yeah, let's not struggle too much with this. So, this is fully automated. Can we... Yeah, we're going to open the night shift here as well. Maybe put a few people working in here. Let's see, infirmary is doing okay. Night shift for you. This is okay here. 16 homeless people. Um, oh, there's lots of homeless people in here. But the in nurseries are still empty, so... Oh, we only have three kids left now. Okay. Can we focus on the dome, please? Because once that's up, I can start planning out the passages over here. I think we're going to have to move, um, yeah, this living complex over here. So... Hello? Ah, oh, he's gone to bring some meteors for us. Uh, let's see... Yeah, I think we're gonna plop this over here as soon as this one's uh, going up. And let's decrease the priority on this. Make sure this is still the highest. And once it's um, once it's done, we'll get the garden and and this new new nice looking homes done over here as well. And I think in the in the new dome, we'll finally build the first uh, sphere as well. Not the sphere. What is it? Spire? Where are they? Dome spires. Yeah, there we go. Water reclamation system. Machine parts, though. Uh, yeah, I think we'll have to start thinking about putting a machine parts factory in here as well. Once we, once we get the... Uh, what is it? The farms moved. And uh, they're... Soil quality up to a hundred percent as well. Then, then I think is the time we'll uh, get rid of the farms in here. Okay, so that's looking actually pretty good. So hundred and six food. Maybe it might even go to hundred and ten. And there's the tome. Next are you and you, the garden and the 
living complex over here. 15 homeless. Why are you guys homeless? Oh, it's because they've grown up and the nurseries are now empty. Well, isn't that great? Okay, we'll turn you off. And, um... Let's see. I think the plan kind of is to have... We'll start with two farms. Potentially increasing that to three with what is it how many people do you need in a farm that is six we have 14 living spaces here actually the first thing we'll do is let's get rid of this so we can plan out the passages over here so i think we'll need like two yeah we'll do um, two residences over here that gives us 28 staff or homes and uh, three farms will take up 18 we'll take care of 18 workers that leaves us with 10 we'll have an infirmary here of course but that means we can also have some fungal farms outside the dome so that is that is a good plan i think okay so something the garden was completed over here all right and i think to accommodate their shopping needs and to also get a few spare workers, we will upgrade this in here. Actually, let's see. Oh, I can't check this now. I need to look up what were the, uh, what is it like the the requirements once they get specialized, like the researchers. Did they need like shopping or? I can't remember. I'll have to look it up. I'll I'll have that information later. Okay, so this house is done. I do want to get rid of uh, this over here. We'll connect it up. And to be honest... Um, it would be... Let's pause this for a second. If we put two passages over here... That means we're losing two big plots. However, with the homes... Let's see. Living complex will give us... 14 smart oh we don't have the smaller homes yet um hmm what shall we do maybe we'll go for the apartment instead because three farms yeah that means we can't build uh, two living complexes here or maybe we just don't connect up this one here these two domes at least for the time being Sadly, they won't be able to... Well, I mean... Ah, oh, but this large water tank is in the way. I was thinking maybe we could do it from here. Yeah, but then I'd have to demolish. Yeah, and then we're losing a lot of electronics. Okay, I think for the time being, what we'll have to do is... Um, we can only connect up one. Like so. Yeah, I think this will be a good way to build this passage over here because in the future if we really want to connect up this one here as well we can do it like so and bring it here and then we can still have a ramp coming from here ramp going over this passage over here although the angle might not be the best hmm Yeah, okay, we'll, we'll just have to do this for the time being then. And then we'll start building, let's, let's see, where are the homes? So maybe, maybe we'll leave this plot available for the time being. We'll put a home here, and then... One and two farms. Okay. Right, so we have 16 homeless people. This is full. You're not making babies anymore, hopefully. 
87, so it seems someone's done it. We have one child. But okay, we'll, we'll figure this out. Let's see, 87%. Oh wow, that's gone up quickly. Which is, of course, great to see. Uh, right, right, right. I think we've got a bit of a bottleneck here as well. We just don't have... Yeah, drones load is heavy. We just don't have enough drones in this area over here. Let's see. Oh, let's check the ramp as well. Oh, it is done. Beautiful. So let's uh, let's get you out of there. Let's bring you back to help with uh, all this construction that is happening. And we'll take the RC Explorer and uh, scan these two breakthroughs. Let's see what we, uh, what we get from there. And once you're done, just as usual, to come back to back to base. Okay, very beautiful indeed. Are we we are slowly building them, I think. And the transporter. Oh wow, you've gone really far. Okay. That's uh Meteor incoming. Oh meteors coming here. Oh no, we're losing that sensor tower. But oh no. Oh. Anomaly All right. found. So they don't get destroyed. Uh wait, where's our Ooh, okay, you got through. But I've gotta keep an eye on this now. It seems like the meteor storm is like right on top of the of the ramp connecting. Research complete. What extraction is done? Okay, that is amazing. You're going this way. You're still loading. Yeah, I'm a little bit worried. I don't want to lose my transport rover over here. If it starts moving towards east, the meteor storm, I mean, which it seems to do, I think we we might be just okay. Oh, no, and now he's going home. Anomaly no, no, found. not yet. Okay, awesome. Two two anomalies already. Yeah, I think we'll have to do a bit of micro. Here, I think. What are you doing? Why are you... I really don't understand why he's loading the metals over here. Oh, maybe we're like... Full or something at, at our base. Great dust storm approaching. Well, that means... We don't need to put you here anymore. Can you drive this way? Okay, let's get rid of those. Oh, a dust storm. Okay, so that means our water production and O2 is going offline as well. Anomaly found. And the third one. Oh man, that's the best meteor storm we've had since starting this playthrough, I believe. Breakthrough discovered. Alright, what do we get? Dome streamlining. Domes cost 50% less basic resources. Ugh. Bit of a meh breakthrough there. But, um. Oh well, what can you do about it? Right, so one of the rockets is, is back now. Farm, let's see. We are gonna leave it on soybeans. Got some homes over here too now. And maybe, just maybe, we will... Yeah, let's open up this here. More soybeans. Let's do only a couple of people here. Don't need them all working in these ones just yet. Or maybe even one. You know, let's just do one. Come on. One person. Because our food production is, um, is is good right now. We just need to Breakthrough discovered. keep them running um, so we get the soil quality up to 100 and that's when we can move those farms over. Uh, what is this? Good vibrations. Domes restore sanity to their inhabitants every soul. Okay, so that's very really nice one. I am happy about this breakthrough. 
And let's see. Okay, so this rover should be safe as well. Actually, let's check our research. We are doing... Okay, nothing too crazy right now. Should we add in anything? Hmm. Sanatorium upgrade. Oh, that's a nice one. Oh, I mean, we've, we've got so many... What are they? The anomalies over here that I just feel like queuing up something big, but let's not rush into this and so um we'll we'll just leave them. It's it's fine. Um right, water water is already a problem. Anomaly found. So let's see, production metals wait, no, life support, water extraction. Let's set this up uh uh, you're in the way. This would be a prime location for for that, and then we have to extend our scrubber. Let's see. Let's let's figure this out. Oh no! Oh wait, it's fine. It's okay. We can just. Oh come on. Uh, where is it? Salvage. We'll disconnect you. But you will get the power back because we are going to build this scrubber. That was the location, right? Yeah. And that's maxed out range. Okay. Oh, it has the power. Must be coming from the dome then, I suppose. Oh, and another research anomaly. Four so far from this uh, one meteor storm that is that is absolutely great I think we might need some more stuff in here soon let's see so social shopping let's give you some uh, uh, service buildings here as well what did they need let's go again social and shopping Diner gives social, uh, but no shopping. Okay, so we are going to need both of them. That's okay. And we'll also put a park in here. And there we go. Now we have one homeless. But um, I think we are going to have to build the uh, another home in there as well i i do i do feel we may have to go for apartments very soon because just n not having enough space in here for everything and i can't just keep expanding more and more domes in here i think we what we have right now is is enough for domes with the infrastructure that's already in place is is good uh, i just remembered we should probably to this as well. Is that in the range still? It is. So let's deconstruct you. So that way we can put the wood ex extractor over here. And we want you, I think that is. Oh, wrong button over there. I don't know, maybe something like this. So it's. Not over the dome, but at the same time, this will be even better. And rotate you, I don't know, like so. Let's see. Yeah, this looks good. And what we'll do is we'll hook you up as well with some, uh, with some power. You can pull it directly from there so it would look nice and tidy. And then also um, we need to bring in this this water. So so there we go. Ah, scrubber is up and running. Uh, hmm. K. 
Okay, we'll have to rethink this. This isn't gonna work. Can we, like, cancel you? Yeah, okay, let's, uh, let's redo this very quick. And let's see, so the max range is just one outside the water here. Let's, um... So... I think this should already be okay. Let's try it again. Yeah, so it covers it. Beautiful. And now let's, let's connect you up once again. And same with power. Okay, cool. Right, things are starting to look much better now. We've got the farming tomb up and running over here, although the comfort isn't quite there just yet. Which I think we... Oh yeah, we need another another service building here. But, um... Uh, let's see, and, and the grocer. But, um... Uh, and we've got a water extraction here as well, which should solve our water problems. So, uh, we'll, we'll call it the episode here. And I think uh, in the next next one we'll uh, try and make it a bit more a bit more efficient. And oh, here we go. Here's a dust storm. So so yeah. Thank you very much for watching, and uh, see you see you in the next episode.